keep stitching, just keep stitching, stitching, stitching. <laughs> just stitch, stitch. <laughs> doing February February the second what happened to January <laughs> I don't know it's weird and we have snow again how weird is that <laughs> it's gonna disappear soon anyway thank you uh, Teresa Teresa in Sweden for motivating me to make this floss tube which is number 49 in the row I've been very very unmotivated for cross stitching and for making videos it's not that I don't like it I love it I love being a part of the community I'm just I don't know I have been feeling very unmotivated but I decided let's do this so here I am <laughs> I hope you will enjoy. I promise I will not pull any zippers close to the microphone. I promise I will not crinkle plastic close to the microphone. And I promise I won't throw any things in this episode. I'm Linda, by the way, and I'm a cross stitcher, kind of multiple hobby crafter in Sweden. I live in a three-room apartment with my husband, my daughter, and my two adopted dogs from Spain. What else should I say more? <laughs> hello! I want to say hello to all my new subscribers and welcome back to everyone who keeps coming back to watch my craziness here on Flosstube. I always start with saying thank you for to the wonderful people out there who wants to support me and my channel. Um, I did get a, a little donation at Kofi. Uh, the new, it's not the buy me a coffee, it's the new Kofi. You can find the link down below if you feel like you want to support me. Uh, this person wants to stay anonymous, but nonetheless, thank you very much. It is very, very appreciated. And everything I get from support and from YouTube goes straight back into the channel. And I love having giveaways and shipping stuff. So the money goes first and foremost to that. Okay, so what should I do next? We should take a look in my own little dotted journal where I fill in as the weeks go and here I have it's going to be very white but here I have written floss tube 49 and a little bit of notes to make sure I say all the things I want to say and uh, yeah so the next thing I'm going to talk about is my whips so you might not know but I have a rotation I call the Nikki rotation for my full coverage um, pieces and participating in WIPGO 2022 and then I'm participating in the full coverage challenges over at um, full coverage fanatics so so that's like you know the base which is going to carry my goal on for progress during this year since my last floss tube week two and three of my Nikki rotation was beauty will save the world and shelf life. So the first two weeks was heaven and earth, you know, the fun stitch, which is my once upon a fairy tale, which I miss so much. I swear I could, I could just throw all the other cross stitches aside and just stitch on Once Upon a Fairy Tale because I just enjoyed so much. But then I decided one week it should be Gekka Rouge and then one week should be Unconventional Cross Stitch 
So those are the two projects I decided to stitch. And for those two, I joined, I need to, this is like a week, two weeks, weeks two, four and five. Let's see here. I joined my whips and wonders for, let's do this list. I have my whips and wonders here. And then I've written down all of my full, co full coverage pieces I'm gonna work on this year. And shelf life is the Christ the Redeemer. I started on 2,531 stitches. And Beauty Will Save the World is Colosseum in Rome. I started on 2,700 stitches on that. So shelf life was the first week since my last floss tube which I have in these kind of project bags. And I made a promise not to pull any zippers close to the microphone. So I will kind of reach away from the microphone. And try to grab, excuse me. So I have the fabric here. And I made 1,067, 1,067 stitches for the one week I was working on shelf life, which is for me, I'm not happy about it, but I'm not stitching as much as I did before, like last year, before I started knitting. So it is what it is. A thousand stitches is a thousand more than I had before. So my, but I do remember I said, I want to finish the first room and I have, so I'm very happy about that. And I started the pink room and I did the first row up there. I'm very happy about that too. What I learned or whatever, not learned, but I was first, I was stitching diagonal like this. When I started this piece, I didn't like it. So I started just cross country stitch within the first room. In the end here where there, there was a lot of confetti, confetti here around this piece. And what is this anyway? Can someone please tell me because I cannot figure out what it is. Anyway, <clears throat> I didn't enjoy that. I didn't enjoy the cross country stitching. So I decided when I started on this pink, I finished this block by 10 by 10. It's not really 10 by 10. It's like seven by 10 or something. And then I parked the thread to, I'm going right. So I parked the thread in the next grid and then I stitched that. I parked there and parked there. And if there wasn't any stitches of some color here and there were you know, underneath or something. I just parked them there. So I will go like in a zigzag downwards. And then I enjoy that much more. So I did this all in one evening compared to the rest. So yeah, I will try to do the parking method. I know Gekka Rouge don't, um, they're not saying you can't do that, but to make your threads in the um, because when you buy kits you can only buy kits from Gag Rouge um, and there they say it's better if you do the cross-country stitching so uh, but I mean if I'm instead of you know jumping all over the room I just park the thread to the closest symbol it's the same thing so I will just do that. So that was that week. I usually, you know, say if you want to see my unboxing of Shelf Life, which is huge, is over a thousand stitches wide, go over. I have a video with that unboxing. And Gecko Rouge kits are just amazing. I love them. And they have great service at Gag Rouge. They've always been so nice when you email them and in the Facebook groups and everything. I will just, oh, I promised I shouldn't throw anything. So now I can't throw it to the bed. Excuse me. So <clears throat> last week and the last week of 
the first month of the Nikki rotation was unconventional cross stitch week, which is beauty will save the world. I'm in the mm -mm -mm, stitch along with um, Adrian Bordatz, Kylie, you're gonna hate me. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm butchering all this, but the hashtag not bored at this is the hashtag we're using who are stitching his art over at Instagram. So head over and take a look at that. Beauty will save the world. Where I have, I have her here. Excuse me. <clears throat> I didn't stitch that much. 901 stitches. Yeah. It is what it is. It's still a little bit of progress. It's still a little bit of progress. And I should lift this up so you can see this amazing detail. So I was uh, down here, I think. So I've stitched the way up here. That's it. So her lips have a lot of confetti, but you, I mean, come on. Uh, it's the, the detail is so amazing. It's really amazing. She is so beautiful. And hopefully I'm throwing up pictures here of all my whips. So you can see how the finished design looks like. Forgotten totally to tell you which fabric size uh, the shelf life is. It's 25 count. This is 25 count. And I'm stitching one over one with DMC threads. Yes. So, and beauty. I put some stickers in. I've just stitched on her for four, four days. So I could have done a lot better, but I wanted to knit instead because I'm just obsessed with knitting. I'm obsessed with West, Stephen West shawls and I'm getting into other things. So it's not looking good for cross stitching at the moment. I'm sorry. Right. And <clears throat> so that was the full coverage challenges and my like my big rotation which i feel i just want to throw away because i just want to stitch a once upon a fairy tale so we'll see how it's going to go the rest of the year and i'm just rambling as usual um yes i am participating in whipgo 2021 and i'm really enjoying that i'm really really looking forward to each month where we get two new numbers and I don't know why I feel like this now and not la last year. In my last floss tube I showed you the sailboats and I had a few more few more days to stitch on the sailboats. My goal is just to stitch 10 days on each of whatever it's called. So sometimes it can be Yeah, like 25 minutes. I want to try at least for 25 minutes. That's not, you know, you don't get that much done in that time. 10 days. I, I want to give them each 10 days. So this is how far I got on 10 days. And it looks so cool in the viewfinder here. So this is, I don't know, I can show you. I don't know if it's gonna, this is the, the one and I think it's this boat yeah oops it's that boat there in the in the middle so very relaxing it's on Ada it has to be I think I said 18 count Ada last time but it has to be a, tw a 14 Ada and it's two threads so it's very enjoyable. I stitched a lot of it at work on my lunch break or in the morning. Sometimes I get there very early and then I sit and stitch a little while and drink my coffee before I start to work. So that's all the whips. Let's talk about February. It 
it's a new month. It's my second part of my Nikki rotation where I have two weeks of get it done stitching. How do I call it? Uh, get done, get done stitch. Two weeks of get done stitch, which is a heaven and earth stitch. It is my mini dragon in the morning. I'm stitching it on 25 count, two over one, 10 stitching. And I really want to get that thing done. That one is also in the 22,000 stitches in 2022 over at full uh, coverage fanatics. And since it's 10 stitching, I need to do 44 thousand stitches and when I set the goals I was like yeah I'm gonna be able to do that no problem at all and then the knitting came in the way so I'm not sure I'm gonna make it but anyway so those are the two first weeks of February the third week is the heaven and earth week so there I'm going to stitch my super sized max color amazing animal kingdom which I'm stitching along together with Catherine over at Cat Talks. Head over to watch her amazing floss tube vlog, which is really enjoyable. She is making so much progress. Yes, and the last week is Pain Free Crafts Week. And there I have chosen the Crake and Dragon. So we are going to take a closer look at that and talk a little bit about the plans. And the full coverage pieces are joining the whips and wonders so i have started you know whatever i need to make a five thousand stitches on each which will we start with dragon in the morning yes and since my rotation week started monday i have already stitched a couple of days on it um let's see yes i'm diagonal stitching this so i've just started filling in a little bit here and I really want to get to the dragon he's here I want to get to the dragon they're so cute so I started that I love to stitch it really really enjoying you know the minis you know I love the super size max colors don't get me wrong but the mini this is also a mini this one perfect size perfect detail on most of them and just they're just so doable so doable two weeks of that get it done I'm not going to finish it this year but I would love to finish it this year that one and once upon a fairy tale I think I could just you know cycle between them for the whole year I think and the week after that my heaven and earth week I always smile when I say heaven or heaven and earth because I love heaven and earth if you didn't know that and I have this in this amazing handmade project bag, which I got for a birthday present of, uh, from Catherine. She's so sweet and so kind and so funny. This is also stitched on 25 count. It's a full cross one over one with DMC thread. And I started in the bottom right corner. I do regret that a little bit because I don't want to stitch ice I want to get to the animals this is where I am at and yeah I'm kind of looking forward to starting to stitch it but I don't know if I should just finish these threads and start working this upward because I want to get to the animals and I know there's a, I think it's a reindeer or something here I want to stitch animals. I mean, amazing animals. That's why I wanted stitches from the first place. Wish me good luck, by the way. Yeah, it's difficult when you do want to really stitch all the things and all of a sudden I'm starting to knitting all, knitting too, and I want to knit all the things. I mean, we know it's just, it meant to be a disaster. So for my last week of the rotation, I'm sorry, I had to throw it. I just, the last week, of the rotation is pain free crafts yes and i haven't gotten the stitch along 2022 yet next month i think 
when I have paid the membership for half a year, I get the voucher, then I think I will go for the stitch along. I have to, I have to do the stitch along. I'm so curious of, I have seen everyone has doing the, the frames around this uh, thing. And I guess there's, go I think, uh, this is just a guess. It's going to be fun and see if I'm guessing right. I think it seems like there's like windows or something. So I think there's going to be um, a design in each of the like framed areas. That's what I'm guessing. It's going to be fun. So I hope there will be a little bit more uh, progress from the ladies, maybe guys too, I, I don't know for sure, who are stitching the, the stitch along, the mystery stitch along to see what it is because I'm like either that or I want to get the feast because I'm watching uh, Ellie, Ellie, well, Ellie Stitcher uh, here on Floss Tube and she has so many great whips. Oh my God. Anyway, she's stitching the feast and I'm like, when I saw it, I was like, oh, I have to get that. I have to get that. But I know I don't know if I will, you know, ever stitch it. Anywho, back to my Kraken dragon because, because he's so freaking cool. Can't you see how cool he is? <laughs> no, you cannot. It's in the center of the uh, design. It's so tiny. It's so small, but it's good. It's perfect. It's perfect. Um, you can see his claws grabbing the drink. And I have a picture. This is the Kraken and he is so, so cool. I want to try out to stitch those suckers, those things there, the green stuff. So I'm really looking forward to stitching on this as well. And I have to show this because I got a, it's a project bag. I, I think it's more like um, a thread storage. And I really like it because we have to take care of our floss. And this is hand sewn. I think it's Simon who's sewn this. Correct me if I'm wrong. And you hang your project cards in there. And of course you can put the fabric in here as well, but I just have my threads. Oh, it's, it smells so good. It feels so good with all the threads. So, and it's the Scottish patterns. I love it. So those are my full coverage uh, pieces for the all of February. So the first two weeks now is just going to be the mini dragon in the morning by Randall Spangler. I totally forgot to tell you all about the designers. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Moving right along. We have WIPGO 2022 and the numbers that were called was number five and number 17. And let me show you in my book. This is how I made my whip go board. I wrote the numbers. I'm crossing them as they are called. And I just have the trust in myself that I will keep to my 25 minutes, 10 days each. And then I wrote the whole list down of all my small kitted up kits which I'm going to use for the whip go. And the numbers was five and 17 and five is the Outlander bookmark. And 17 is my long dog sampler pandemic. How fitting. I have my Outlander bookmark at work and I was working from home today. So I don't have it to show you, but you know, I will put in a picture on how it's going to look like. I have finished by now the Sassane, the red text. And I finished, almost finished the, um, is it called an elk? The animal with a horn. So I have more or less just the, the bottom object left, which is uh, a castle, I think. Will I finish it? I really want to finish it before, you know, within these 10 days. Yeah, that's the goal, a finish. That will be like the FFO of 2022. I have my pandemic in this 
amazing project bag which I bought from dot dot goose designs in the UK before they left the U European Union. So we all know pandemic, right? We all know pandemic. And this one I am stitching on 32 counts, I'm pretty sure. And I'm using the sulky threads. This is my progress. The sulky threads, this, the variegated thread. And then for the birds, I have a darker DMC thread. No, I'm lying. A darker sulky thread, which is a solid color. And then I have a lighter sulky thread color for the other animals. So all the birds are going to be that and the other animals and like people will see what I get to, what I decide to use that. And then for the back stitching, I have some DMC threads. And I noticed, yeah, this, you can have the pattern in Pattern Keeper, which is great, but in Pattern Keeper, I cannot see the back stitching. So I've missed a whole lot of back stitching here. I had, so I think that is like the main goal, finish the back stitching. And then I don't know if I should start working down here or I want to get out to the, to the side, I think, and work myself upward or something. I don't know. I started in the center. Yeah. Also kind of looking forward, uh, stitching on that. I hope, you know, these small things I was stitching before when Mina, my daughter, she was dancing. She was like dancing for an hour or an hour and a half. And I either, you know, went for a walk or run or I was sitting and stitching. And I did a lot of stitching that she's not dancing anymore because she don't feel she had the time because of school. So I don't have that, uh, you know, time for, you know, for myself anymore. That's the whip go plans. That was so fast. Yes, let me look at my show notes. Hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yes, haul. And I'm still very proud of myself because I hardly have any haul at all. The only thing I bought was this sweet pattern, which is the number two of A Year in the Woods. And have you seen number three? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get that. Anyway, I got this one. Um, I like that uh, fabric so much. I have to see. 40 count marriage linen picture this plus. Go figure. Yeah. This is not haul. Well, it's kind of haul. The thing is, we have, we had a cross stitch online store here in Sweden, which um, had to unfortunately close down. I don't know if it's because of COVID or something else, I don't know. But unfortunately she had to close down. And what is also very sad about it, I'm very sorry for her. I'm also very sad about that she was the one hosting our stitch retreat. And I was going in April this year and Catherine was going as well. And I was finally gonna meet her for real. I was looking forward to it so much. Now it's not gonna happen. However, I had made some order a long time ago. So she said, I can't make that order for you, but what do you want in the store? So I said, I would really like some 32 count and 28 count big pieces of even weave. So just give me one 28 and 32 and we can call it even and she gave me three pieces it was so nice and when i got them i was so happy about it unfortunately it's not the pre-gridded stuff but i know that i can still stitch on colored fabric so i'm so pleased i got a granite gray this is so good when you have a darker like um uh yeah with a lot of black or something you know this is a 28 count granite, a meter and 140 uh, meters wide. So 
for a super size. And then she gave me two pieces of 32 count linen, a whole meter of beige linen. Oh my God, this is pretty nice. You know, you could actually do a, you know, some sampler on this. Absolutely, very nice. And then I got a 32 count lilac, 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 even weave. So also for a super size, yes. And we all know that there are two super sized by Amy Stewart over at Heaven and Earth that I'm dying to get. One is the super sized US travel bookshelf. I showed you this one some episodes ago and I was like, ah, oh, you know, I don't know why I haven't gotten it, you know, or bought it. Well, I know why, but I really like it. I really like it. But then I was telling you guys, you know, it doesn't, it, there's no super size max colors, which I want. And I didn't want to pay the $20 it cost to make that special uh, request. And then you have to pay another $20 to get the pattern. And I was like, I feel that it's so unfair fair to do that. So I was like, I'm just going to bid my time. And what do you know? Somebody just not too long ago had it special had the special request to make it a super size and a max color so as soon as there is a 55 percent off i will get the u.s travel bookshelf yes and the other pattern which i don't know the name of hasn't been released yet but if you follow me on instagram you have seen it it is another bookshelf with there's a lot of uh, themes going on i guess it's like uh, thriller, fantasy, it's kind of like book uh, genres, genres, whatever you call it. Uh, it is so cool. And in the center, there is like a nice uh, comfy chair. I don't know what you call it in English. You have the fireplace and it seems like, is there a dog on the floor and there, you know, where you just want to sit and read all these stories or sit with your audiobook you know, stitching or knitting and just listening to all the stories. And Amy Stewart was giving us the teaser over at the Facebook group saying, this is definitely being charted as an heaven and earth. She has released it as a puzzle. And I was like, she'll say it. Oh, what are you releasing this? And are you releasing it as, you know, all the supersized mini, blah, 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 all that. So we don't have to do the special requests. I haven't gotten any answer. I wasn't expecting one. Sometimes she answers, sometimes she doesn't. But so it hasn't been released yet, but I hope it will be released soon. And I know I said no new starts in 2022. Maybe we're allowed. I was supposed to actually start one at the Stitch Retreat because I was like, well, if you go to Stitch Retreat, you should be able to, you know, at least get a start. Now that's not gonna happen. So. I, the new start is not going to happen. And then I'm thinking, well, maybe, you know, when I go on vacation, <laughs> maybe, or when I have a birthday or something, we'll see. But if something like that is released, I don't think I can help myself. We'll see. And it's, you know, the supersized flight of imagination, which Kat gave me for Christmas very 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 difficult not to jump you know but uh, that's it yeah and I have my new shawl on I'm so happy I love it so much I want to knit it in all kinds of colors it keeps me so nice and warm it's not blocked yet so that will be a mission I have my red shawl here from expression fiber art which is blocked and ready and gave me hell when i was going to 
to wash it, but thanks to Kylie, sweet Kylie, she saved the day. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching. Okay. <laughs> Have a wonderful time. I will see you when I see you. I love you guys. Bye.